So um, I'm here with Holden Caro, who is an engineer for IBM. How are you today? I'm good. Awesome. Okay. Thanks awesome. for having me. Yeah, where are you visiting from? I'm in from San Francisco. San Francisco, okay. Good, good. Uh, what do you think about Austin so far? Uh, I love it. Um, I've been here for South by Southwest before, but it's nice to be here and not have it completely crowded. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty crowded for a, a data event, you know, but... <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, I can I can get to a restaurant in under half an hour. Right, the entire town isn't, isn't swamped, yeah. So, a uh, good deal. And you're going to be speaking today around 4 o'clock, and what's going to be your topic? Um, so I'm going to be focused on sort of how to make your Spark jobs more performant and sort of how to handle uh, larger data sets with, with your Spark jobs. Okay, okay. In the world of big data, I mean, would you say Spark is sort of um, just sort of leading the pack, you know, or what are your feelings around that? I feel for general purpose computing engines, Spark is definitely leading the pack. Mm -hmm. um, like, no one's particularly excited about MapReduce anymore. Yeah. Right? Like, that's, some people still use it, but, you, you know, you don't wake up and go, I'm going to go write some MapReduce code. You wake up and you're like, I'm going to write some MapReduce code. God damn it. <laughs> Um, and, and I think I think Spark is, is doing really well, um, okay. certainly in, in the general purpose area, and, and the different components as well are, are also doing pretty well. SQL has taken off. Awesome. Uh, and so, as far as uh, you, you were you were saying, you're speeding up the processes so with Spark, yeah. and, and so like, what sort of things are we touching in that area? So it's a lot of like developer best practices. I see. Spark is is really powerful and really flexible, mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of ways to sort of do the same thing mm -hmm. and like when you're when you're coming from more of a traditional single machine engineering background mm -hmm. you you don't necessarily have the same intuitions mm -hmm. around what sort of things are going to be expensive mm -hmm. and and you know where it's going to be important to sort of optimize mm -hmm. and so this is just really trying to help give people some of that experience that you know I've gained through working with a lot of customers working on spark mm -hmm. um, and developing spark as well nice and, and share some of that that's that's going to be very helpful especially for this crowd, you know. I, I certainly hope so. Yeah, yeah. You know, is there anything that you are um, sort of looking forward to in, is it in the realm of big data over the course of the next year or two? I mean, I'm really excited to see Spark 2.0 come out, yeah. obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's something I care about a lot. Um, and I think, I think there's a lot of really interesting... Uh, use cases coming out with with more and more public data sets coming around. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's it's pretty cool seeing sort of how we're able to, as a community, mm -hmm. help solve like interesting problems beyond sort of commercial ones. Yeah. And and sort of like enabling like these solutions for for more than just industry. <laughs> right. Right. Like it, uh, you know, targeting targeted ads are nice and all, but no, it's great. And it pays <laughs> the bills. It, it gets us fancy clusters to run on. Yeah, and and it's wonderful. Yeah. nothing wrong with targeted ads. If, yeah. you, if you work on targeted ads, <laughs> I hope you get paid well, um, <laughs> yeah. and and you should. You deserve it. But mm -hmm. you know, I, I think there's some really cool things you can do too. Yeah, is there a particular cause that the, uh, where we can apply big data and these data sets, you know, that, that stands out to you? It's like, oh, you know, we should really look at. I'm not gonna go there. Okay. Um, but okay. I, I think there's a lot of really interesting sort of like civic data, mm -hmm. um, and I think people are, are starting to to use these big data tools on yeah. them, yeah. and it's really exciting. Um, I'm not one of those people like I just build the systems, yeah. and so I'm I'm excited to see people doing it, yeah. but I don't want to tell them what to go do. Yeah, that makes I'm very sense. Very happy that they're doing it. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, we look forward to hearing your talk at four today. Awesome. Yeah, and thanks for coming to uh, Day to Day 2016. All right. Cool. Thanks for having me. Cheers.